Hey, let's give Blaze a monster makeover. You ready? Should we paint Blaze pink and teal? All right. How about green and orange? Or yellow and purple? Yellow and purple looks awesome. Whoa. Great pick. How about we paint a pattern on Blaze next? This one? How about this one? Or this one? What a cool pattern! Uh oh, look! There's a fire at Clive's Beaker! Somebody please help save my bakery! Let's transform Blaze into a fire truck to save the bakery! Nice! Celebrate by giving Blaze another monster makeover! Check it out! Should we paint Fire Truck Blaze orange and pink? Whoa! How about purple and green? Or blue and black? Woohoo! Beautiful! That's a great pick! How about we paint a pattern on Fire Truck Blaze next? Alright! This one? How about this one? Or this one? Great work! You picked a great pattern! I wonder where the next emergency could be. Look! Over there! Gaskets! That lighthouse is on fire! But how are we gonna get there? The lighthouse is on an island way out in the water! Let's transform Blaze into a fireboat so we can put out the fire at the lighthouse! Nice work! Monster Machine! Stop putting out that fire! Let's celebrate by giving Blaze another monster makeover! Should we paint Fire Truck Blaze green and white? How about gray and blue? Oh yeah! Or yellow and red? Beautiful! That's a great pick! How about we paint a pattern on Fire Truck Blaze next? Whoa! This one? <laughs> How about this one? Or this one? What a cool pattern! Oh. here to save your jungle from those volcanoes. Yeah, but to cool off hot lava, we're gonna need the most amazing firefighting vehicle yet. A Super Scooper! A Super Scooper is an airplane with a huge tank that scoops up water. Then it flies to wherever there's an emergency and dumps the water out. Come on! Now let's turn Blaze into a Super Scooper to put out the fires. Great work! Monster Machine! Scooping water! Now we just have to look for a volcano that's erupting so we can dump out the water and cool the hot lava. Look carefully. When you see lava, say lava. Lava! It worked! Our water cooled the hot lava. Scooping water! Be on the lookout for the next volcano. When you see hot lava, say lava! Lava! Let's 
join that last erupting volcano. When you see lava, say lava. and mobster makeover? Let's begin! Should we paint Blaze purple and yellow? How about orange and green? Let's try pink and blue. Yeah, pink and blue looks awesome! All right! Nice paint job! How about we paint a pattern on Blaze next? How about polka dot? Ha! What about a watermelon pattern? What about a wood pattern? What a cool pattern! Woohoo! Hey, look! The train's coming through! Uh oh! The last train car went off the tracks! Uh, it's too heavy! I can't stop it by myself! Listen! It sounds like someone's coming to help! It's a police officer! Officer Anna reporting for duty! Police and Officer Anna need help stopping the train! We need to push the train with a force of nine! Quick, let's pick the number nine! Amazing! Track. Oh, you're welcome, little chickens. Now get home safe. Now let's give Officer Anna a makeover. Should we paint Officer Anna red and blue? How about green and red? Or purple and green? That's a cool color combination. Let's paint a pattern on Officer Anna next. How's this plaid? Or what about tiger stripes? Rawr! Now let's try pink frosting with sprinkles! Officer Anna reporting for duty! Sweet pattern! Thanks so much for your help, Officer Anna! Yeah! We couldn't have saved those chickens without you! Well, just doing my job! You know, you guys are good at helping people too! Maybe you should be police officers! Us? Become police officers? How do we do that? Well, for starters, you'll need to be a police car like me. Let's transform Blaze into Officer Blaze. Awesome! I'm a police car monster machine! Whoa! Looking good, Blaze! It's time to be police officers! Ah, Officer Blaze! Officer AJ! I'm so worried about my puppy, Pierre! I brought him to the park and I cannot find him anywhere! He is lost! A lost puppy? Oh, no! Don't worry, Debris. We'll find your puppy, Pierre. Let's give Officer Blaze a makeover to help him search for Pierre. Should we paint Officer Blaze neon yellow and purple? Or green and silver? Let's try orange and white. Beautiful! That's a great pick! Oh, yeah! Want to paint a pattern on Officer Blaze next? Awesome! How's this cheetah pattern? Or maybe this one? What about tie-dye? <laughs> what a cool pattern! Huh, I wonder where Pierre could have gone. The puppy's not here, but look! There's a trail of leaves coming from that leaf pile. 
You're right, Officer Blaze. He must have gone through that leaf pile and run that way. Follow those leaves! Look! The leaves go right to that mud puddle. That's where PM must have gone next, through the mud. See? Muddy tire tracks. Come on! The muddy tracks lead this way. Aha! A dog park! Pierre the puppy must be one of these dogs. But how are we going to figure out which dog is Pierre? I know. We'll use deduction. Remember, deduction is using facts to get closer and closer to an answer. Let's think. What facts do we know about Pierre? Here's a fact. We know Pierre went through a pile of leaves. So the dog we're looking for is going to have leaves on it. Good thinking, AJ. Let's count how many of these dogs have leaves on them. OK, dogs, line up. Count the dogs that have leaves. One, two, three, four, five. Great. So Pierre must be one of these five dogs. What other facts do we know? Hmm, we know that after the leaves, Pierre went through a mud puddle. So the dog we're looking for is going to have muddy tires. Let's count how many of these dogs have muddy tires. Count the muddy dogs with me. One, two, three. That means Pierre must be one of these three dogs. I just wish we knew one more fact about Pierre. Wait, I remember something. His bark. Oh, yeah. We heard Pierre make a barking noise that sounded like this. Arf, arf, arf. Listen carefully to hear which dog has the same bark. Arf, arf, arf. Arf, arf, arf. Which dog sounds like Pierre? That one, yeah. Hey there, little puppy. Are you Pierre? Pierre! Oh, Pierre, I was so worried about you. <laughs> Police officers, let's ride! Thanks for playing another makeover machine. must be somewhere in all these clouds. Help us look for him. When you see Stripes the tiger truck, say Stripes. Stripes! Whoa! I got you, Stripes. Oh, boy! Whoa! Whoa! Thanks! Way to go, Officer Blaze. That sounds like Watts. Hang on, Watts. We're coming. Help us look for Watts. She's the pink truck with electric tires. When you see Watts, say Watts. Blaze? Now there's just one friend left to rescue. Zeg! Don't worry, Zeg. Our police helicopter is on the way. Help us look for Zeg, the dinosaur truck. When you see Zeg, say Zeg. Zeg! Not me! <laughs> And that hurts! Helicopter Blaze to the rescue! Yay! Getting rescued! Oh! Zay! Thanks for rescuing us, Blaze! 
please? To put out the fire, we need the most water we can get. Let's use my visor to see which tank is holding the most water. Switching to visor view. Visor, show us the volume of water in each tank. This tank has 50 megaliters of water inside. This tank has 100. And this tank has 70. Hmm, which number is the biggest? 50, 100, or 70? 100, yeah! That means this tank is holding the most water. It has the biggest volume. Quick, AJ, connect the hose to the water tank. You got it, please! There, you've got water now. All right, now come on. Let's use this water to go put out that fire once and for all. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Look, Chief, Blaze is back. That's right, and I've got enough water to put out the fire. Whoa, oh, wow. Stand back, everyone, and let Blaze do his thing. Come on, Blaze, you can do it. You ready, AJ? Ready. Then let's blast this fire. Go for it, Blaze! Do it! Raising the ladder! Turning on the hose! was some of the bravest firefighting I've ever seen. Thanks, Chief. You can always count on us. High tire. Yeah! Police officers, follow that chicken! the spaghetti thief now. Ah! Oh, she's gone. We'll never find the spaghetti thief now. Sure we will, because we're police officers, and police officers are experts at using observation. Observation? Yeah, observation is when you look and listen carefully to learn something. We can use observation to look for these chicken feathers. Great idea, Officer Pickle. That spaghetti thief leaves red feathers behind wherever she goes. Come on, she must have gone into this dark tunnel. <laughs> Activating police searchlight. When you see more of the chicken's red feathers, say red feathers. That means the spaghetti thief must have gone this way. <gasps> there she is! <laughs> this way, police officer! Don't worry, Chief. I can stop the fire before it gets to those trees. I'll use blazing speed to get there super fast. Go for it, please! <laughs> to give me blazing speed, we need to say... Let's blaze! Say it with me. Let's blaze! Go blaze! Go blaze! Get ready, Blaze. The fire's just up ahead. Help me blast the fire with water to put it out. When you see fire, say fire! Fire! Nice shot! Now
Now let's put out the rest of these fires. Whenever you see fire, say fire. Fire. Yay, Blaze! I knew you could do it! Yeah! You're a hero! Oh, yeah! Way to go, Blaze! Hey, Blaze! Your firefighter badge! You're getting your last star! Wow! I did it! Congratulations, Blaze! You've proven you can handle any emergency! You're now an official firefighter! Whoa! My very own firefighter helmet. Thanks, Chief. Let's hear it for Blaze, Axel City's newest firefighter. Hooray <laughs> <laughs> for Blaze! For Blaze! <laughs> <laughs> wow, being a police officer sounds pretty amazing. You know, you guys are good at helping people too. Maybe you should be police officers. Us? Become police officers? How do we do that? Well, for starters, you'll need to be a police car like me. I can handle that. Come on, help me transform into a police car. First, I need flashing lights and a siren so everyone knows a police car is coming through. To make the lights and siren, say, lights and siren. Lights and siren. Now let's make a searchlight to look for things that are lost and hard to find. To make the searchlight, say, searchlight. Searchlight! Great! All I need now is an official police badge. To make my police badge, say, police badge. Police badge! Oh, yeah! I'm a police car monster machine! Whoa! Looking good, Blaze. Now let's get out there and start helping people. Yeah! It's time to be police officers. aim so we're spraying water right onto those flames. To hit the flames, should we aim to the left or the right? To the left, yeah! You worked! Now, let's blast water on those flames over there. To hit these flames, should we aim the water higher or lower? Lower, yeah! All right! We did it! Come on, Blaze! Just one more set of flames to go! Activating Fireboat Pump! To put out 
with these last flames, should we aim higher or lower? Higher! is using the facts you know to get closer and closer to an answer. Here, let's try it. What do you know about where your grandma lives? Well, I know my grandma lives in a yellow building and it has a red door. Come on, let's look for it. She lives in a yellow building with a red door. Which building is yellow and has a red door? That one, yeah! That's the only building that's yellow and has a red door. Grandma! Oh, I'm so happy you're here. Thank you, officers. You're welcome. Can you use deduction to find my grandma, too? Sure. What do you know about where she lives? Um, I remember she's in a building that has purple flowers and two windows. All right, we've got the facts. Now let's look. Which of these buildings has purple flowers and two windows? That building, right. Here I am! Grandma! <laughs> Thanks, officers. You're welcome. Are you ready to find your grandma now? Uh-huh. I know my grandma lives somewhere with a green door, orange flowers, and one window. Whoa, good remembering. Come on, let's use those facts to find grandma's building. Which of these buildings has a green door, orange flowers, and one window? That one, right! Oh, and you're just in time, too. I made fresh lemonade. Mmm, delicious. To fix the road, we need enough concrete to take up all the space inside the hole. Switching to visor view. The amount of space something takes up is called volume. Here's the volume of concrete we need to fill the hole. What number is this? Twelve. Yeah. That means we need 12 megaliters of concrete. All right, AJ, let's dump some concrete. Check it out. I poured in two megaliters of concrete. And AJ poured in one. How much concrete is in the hole? Three, yeah! There are three megaliters of concrete. But to fill the hole all the way, we need the volume of concrete to be 12. Hey, fellas, up here. You can use the concrete in this mixer. Going up. Pouring the concrete. Let's check the volume of concrete in the hole. It was three, and we're adding four more. How much concrete is in the hole now? Seven, right. There are seven megaliters of concrete in the hole. We just need a little more. Hey, you guys, more concrete up here. Great, let's dump it in. Look out below! The volume of concrete was seven, and we're adding five more. Now how much concrete is in the hole? Twelve, right! The hole is full. Woo we did it! And look! The concrete is hardening. Now we can drive over it. You fixed the boat! All right, please! Thanks, everyone. Now let's get moving. Yeah! We have a fire to put out. To give me and Officer Anna blazing speed, say, let's blaze! Let's blaze! Treat! Where?
There they go. Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> Sorry, treat thief, but your dessert still a days are over. But without those sweets, what will I munch? All those treats were going to be my <laughs> lunch! <laughs> your lunch? But treat thief, you shouldn't eat treats for lunch. Yeah! You'll get a big tummy ache. But you'll feel good if you eat something healthy, like an apple. Mmm. Hmm. <gasps> it's true. You were right. And boy, was I wrong. Eating healthy feels great. I feel energized. And strong. Hooray. Good for you. That's the right way to eat. And from now on, I promise I won't take another treat. Now let's return what you've taken. Together, side by side. What do you say, treat thief? I say, police officers! Let's for the next volcano. When you see hot lava, say lava. Lava! Let's find that last erupting volcano. When you see lava, say lava. Lava! Woo we cooled the hot lava and saved the jungle. And check out our firefighter alarm. We took care of all the emergencies. That's right. Wherever there's an emergency, you can always count on firefighters to save the day. Firefighters to, to the, the rescue! rescue! that spaghetti thief go? We'd better use observation to figure out where she went this time. Ooh, I can do it. Police searchlight? Ah! When you see some of her red feathers, say, red feathers. Chicken must be somewhere in this toy store. Then I'd better use observation to figure out where she's hiding. When you see red feathers, say red feathers. Red feathers! So that means the spaghetti thief must be hiding over there! Time to hand over that spaghetti. 
So why'd you do it, little chicken? Why'd you take all that spaghetti? <laughs> oh, you only wanted spaghetti because you're hungry and you lost your picnic basket. Huh, that's weird, because I just found a picnic basket right here. <laughs> Now, come on, let's get this spaghetti back where it belongs. Let's use our pump to blast water all the way to that branch up there. To reach the branch, we need to pump out water with a force of five. Which button has the number five on it? The red button, right. You put out the fire on that first branch. Now let's blast the water even farther to that branch up there. To hit the next branch with water, we need to increase our pump's force to eight. Which button has the number eight on it? The yellow one. Yeah. <laughs> burning branch left. But it's up really high. So to put it out, we've got to blast water with the most force yet. Let's increase our pumping power to a force of 10. Which button has the number 10 on it? The purple one. Fire truck power! Aw, you're welcome, little birdies. Yeah, we're glad we could save your house. Now come on, firefighter AJ. Let's get moving. Yeah, there's still more emergencies out there somewhere. Firefighters to the rescue! Aha, a dog park. Pierre the puppy must be one of these dogs. But how are we going to figure out which dog is Pierre? I know. We'll use deduction. Remember, deduction is using facts to get closer and closer to an answer. Let's think. What facts do we know about Pierre? Here's a fact. We know Pierre went through a pile of leaves. So the dog we're looking for is going to have leaves on it. Good thinking, AJ. Let's count how many of these dogs have leaves on them. Okay, dogs, line up. Count the dogs that have leaves. One, two, three, four, five. Great. So Pierre must be one of these five dogs. What other facts do we know? Hmm. We know that after the leaves, Pierre went through a mud puddle. So the dog we're looking for is going to have muddy tires. Let's count how many of these dogs have muddy tires. Count the muddy dogs with me. One, two, three. That means Pierre must be one of these three dogs. I just wish we knew one more fact about Pierre. Wait, I remember something. His bark. Oh, yeah. We heard Pierre make a barking noise that sounded like this. Listen carefully to hear which dog has the same bark. Which dog sounds like Pierre? That one, yeah! Hey there, little puppy. Are you Pierre? Yeah! We found him! Oh, we sure are happy to see you, pup. But not as happy as someone else we know. Oh, Pierre, I was so worried about you. 
Listen, those sound like sirens. And look, smoke. Come on, we better check it out. Lug nuts, it's a forest fire. Good thing the firefighters are here to put it out. All right, firefighters, open the valves on your hoses. Keep spraying. For an emergency this big, we need five fire engines working together. But, Chief, there are only four of us. We need one more fire engine. Link, we've got to help them. And I know how. Let's turn me into a fire engine. First, we'll need to make a hose that can shoot out water. To make a hose, say, hose. Hose! All right, now we need a valve. When we open the valve, the water can go through the hose. To make a valve, say valve. Valve! Great! Now we just need a telescoping ladder that can move the hose up and down. To make it, say telescoping ladder. Telescoping ladder! Yeah! I'm a fire engine monster machine! Awesome! Now let's go help those firefighters! Fire Engine Blaze, reporting for duty, Chief. I'm ready to help put out that fire. Well, all right. Let's see what you've got. the valve so water can shoot out of the hose. Say, open the valve! Open the valve! It's working! We're putting out the fire! All right! Monster machine! Blaze has so many transformations. Let's put a few of them to the test in Blaze versus Blaze. Choose your Blaze, Power Shears Blaze versus Fire Engine Blaze. Level select. Veggie Street, go! Which Blaze transformation do you think will be able to chop up all the vegetables? Firefighter Blaze? He can put out fires. Or Power Shears Blaze? He can use his strong metal blades to chop vegetables. Looks like Fire Engine Blaze is rinsing off those vegetables really well. Power Shears Blaze is chopping up the competition and tasty veggies. Fantastic! Power Shears Blaze wins! One, two, three, four! Yeah! Way to chop those onions! Let's play again. Choose your Blaze. Heat Cannon Blaze versus Amplifier Blaze. Level select. Icy Slope, go! Which Blaze transformation do you think will be able to melt the ice balls? Amplifier Blaze can play music at a loud volume. Heat Cannon Blaze can blast hot air to melt objects. Looks like Amplifier Blaze is really making some noise, but the ice balls are still there. Heat Cannon Blaze is really heating up the competition. Heat Blaster Blaze wins! Great work! Choose your blaze. Pogo stick blaze versus vacuum truck blaze. Let's play again. Dragon forest, go. Which blaze transformation do you think will be able to clean up these balls of dirt? Vacuum truck blaze sucks up things like dirt. Pogo stick blaze can hop up and down a lot. It looks like vacuum blaze is cleaning up the dirt really well. Vacuum truck blaze wins. Great job! It's suction time! One, two, three! Thanks for watching Blaze vs. Blaze!
help Blaze deliver medicine to the doctor, bricks to the construction workers, and water to the firefighters. We're gonna need a special vehicle to make all those deliveries. Let's turn Blaze into a big rig so he can carry the mass of all those deliveries. Great job! To be a big rig, first I'll need a trailer to hold all that heavy stuff. Drag over the trailer to help build Blaze's big rig. Awesome! Now let's add the dual tires. Dual tires help Blaze pull a heavy trailer with a lot of mass. Great job! Last, I need a diesel engine to give our big rig enough power to haul it all. Now drag over the diesel engine to complete Blaze's transformation into a big rig. Great job! A big rig monster machine! Big rig roll! We have to get across that drawbridge. Lowering the drawbridge! It's not coming down! The bridge is stuck! Don't worry, AJ. I know how we can make the drawbridge come down. We can push it down. We can put things on the bridge that have a lot of mass. Mass is all the stuff that makes something heavy. Things like rocks have a lot of mass. That's because they're made of heavy particles packed together tightly. But something like a muffin has lighter particles that are all spread out, so they don't have much mass. Do you know which object has more mass? The steel beams with a mass of 10 kilograms? Or the pool noodles with a mass of two kilograms? Yeah, the steel beams have more mass. Look, the drawbridge is starting to come down. We need more mass to push the bridge down. Which has more mass? The stuffed teddy bears with a mass of three kilograms? Or the anchors with a mass of nine kilograms? Good thinking, the anchors have more mass. Big Rig Blaze has a lot of mass too. Let's add him to the bridge to lower it. Great job. Here you go, Dr. Rashi. One extra large box of medicine. Get ready to feel better, everyone. Remember, we need to make three deliveries. And we just got the medicine to the doctor. So, what's the next thing we have to deliver? Bricks, yeah. We need to bring bricks to the construction workers. <laughs> Good news, everyone! We've brought the bricks! We did it! Come on, crew! Let's get to work! We did it! We built an ice cream shop! Yeah! yeah. Alright! Check it out! We just got the bricks to the construction workers. So now there's only one thing left to deliver. The water tank! Who do we bring the water to? Firefighters, right! <gasps> Look out! Lug nuts! Those rocks are blocking the path. But then how are we gonna get water to those firefighters? Looks like the only way we can get past is to smash our way through with a lot of force. Yeah, and I know how we can get more force. We just need to make ourselves heavier so that we have a lot of mass. A mass of 100 tons! Let's add some of our Monster Machine friends on top of Blaze so we have more mass. First, let's add Dr. Rashi. Nice! Virgin needed help, Blaze, so I came as fast as I could. Thanks, Doc. Climb aboard! Let's see if Blaze's mass is 100 tons now. Is that the number 100? No, that's 60. We don't have enough mass yet. Let's add the construction workers next. 
Super! <laughs> Thanks, you two! Is that the number 100? No, that's 80. That's really heavy. But to smash through the rocks, I need even more mass. Almost there. Let's add the gorillas now. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, gorillas. Let's see what my mass is now. Is that the number 100? Yes, I'm 100 tons. Hang on, everyone. It's smashing time. Go, Blaze! Thanks for the help, everyone! Blaze, look! It's the smoke from the fire! We've got to get this water to the firefighters fast! Activating Big Rig Blazing Speed! To give me blazing speed, say, Let's Blaze! Let's Blaze! <laughs> Go, Blaze! So am I. But look who's here! It's Big Rick Blaze! Release the water! Woo did it! The fire's out! Thanks, Blaze and AJ. We couldn't have stopped that fire without you. You're welcome, firefighters. Just remember, whenever you need something important delivered, you know who to call. Big Rig Blaze! Yeah! Oh, yeah! yeah! Thanks for playing! Matters inside everything. If you got a lot, it's a heavy thing. That's mass, 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 that's mass. Got just a little and you're feeling light. Lift off the ground, take it fly. That's mass, heavy and light. That's mass, you got that right. That's mass, solid and gas. That's mass, it all has mass. That's mass, I've got mass. That's mass. <laughs> Once upon a time, there were four brave police officers. Officer Blaze, Officer AJ, Officer Pickle, and me, Officer Crusher. <laughs> Their job, protect people and keep them safe. But somewhere in the city, there was a thief on the loose. A spaghetti thief. Hey, where'd my spaghetti go? Uh, but my spaghetti's gone too. Aw, oh, so is mine. Come on, police officers. Sounds like there's trouble at that spaghetti restaurant. Officers, please help. Someone's taking all our spaghetti. Taking all your spaghetti? This sounds like the work of the spaghetti thief. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Oh, no! But she's getting away with all the spaghetti! Police officers, follow that chicken! Find the spaghetti thief now! 
Sure we will, because we're police officers, and police officers are experts at using observation. Observation? Yeah, observation is when you look and listen carefully to learn something. Oh, oh, I know. We can use observation to look for these chicken feathers. Great idea, Officer Pickle. That spaghetti thief leaves red feathers behind wherever she goes. Come on, she must have gone into this dark tunnel. <laughs> Activating police searchlight. When you see more of the chicken's red feathers, say red feathers. Some. That means the spaghetti thief must have gone this way. <gasps> there she is! <laughs> this way, police officers! Hey, now where'd that spaghetti thief go? We'd better use observation to figure out where she went this time. Ooh, I can do it. Police searchlight, on! When you see some of her red feathers, say, red feathers. chicken must be somewhere in this toy store. Then I'd better use observation to figure out where she's hiding. When you see red feathers, say red feathers. Red feathers! So that means the spaghetti thief must be hiding over there! Spaghetti thief, time to hand over that spaghetti. <laughs> so why'd you do it, little chicken? Why'd you take all that spaghetti? <laughs> oh, you only wanted spaghetti because you're hungry and you lost your picnic basket. Huh, that's weird, because I just found a picnic basket right here. <laughs> Now, come on, let's get this spaghetti back where it belongs. And that's how the police officers solved the case of the stolen spaghetti. Yummy! And found the chicken's missing picnic basket. 